no missing rivets. I got my clearance lights up there. They are amber in color, properly mounted and secured. I crack damage for the broken. I'm gonna hit my coupling next. I have my apron. It's properly mounted and secured to my trailer. There is no daylight in between my apron and my skid plate. My skid plate is properly mounted and secured to my platform. My platform is properly mounted and secured to my frame with no missing mounting bolts. And my release arm, it is pushed in so it is in the locked position. I can verify by going around back and making sure that my locking jaws surround my king pin. My king pin is properly mounted and secured to my apron. Uh, and my whole sliding fifth wheel assembly is in the locked position because I can see these pins poking out. All right, coming over, I got the side overview of my trailer. It's properly mounted and secure. My crack damage are broken. There are no enlarged holes for cargo to fall out. There are no missing rivets. And my DOT tape is properly mounted and secure. It is not cut or torn. I have my landing gear. It's properly mounted and secure. Not cut, damaged, or broken. Not missing any bolts. I have my crank arm. It's properly mounted and secure. And it also has no missing bolts. Coming on down. Underneath here, I have my cross members. My cross members are properly mounted and secured, not crack damaged or broken with no missing bolts. While I'm down here, I'm gonna also check out my floor, making sure it's properly mounted with no large holes for cargo to fall out. Okay, right here, I have my marker light. My marker light's properly mounted and secured. It's amber in, in color. It has two functions, a four-way flasher and my turn signal. All right, right here I have my airlines. They are properly mounted and secure, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, no sounds of audible hissing, and they should be at least one foot or 12 inches off the ground. All right, coming right here, this is my leaf spring mount. It is properly mounted and so secure, not cracked, damaged, or broken, with no missing bolts. All right here is my tandem release arm. On this here trailer, it is a button, but I can tell it's in the locked position because I see my two pins sticking out. Uh, let's see here. At leaf spring mount, this is my leaf spring. Leaf spring is properly mounted and secured, not cracked down, it's still broken. It's secured with two U-bolts to the axle. It is also not scissoring or no excessive shifting. Huh? Can you point to it again? Uh, leaf spring mount, I mean my leaf spring right here. Okay. Since I'm right here, I have my brake chambers. They are properly mounted and so secure, not crack damaged or broken, no sounds of audible hissing. I have my air hoses. They are properly mounted and secure, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Also, no sounds of audible hissing. I have my airbag back here. They are properly mounted and secure, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. No sounds of audible hissing. And I also have my shocks. Shocks properly mounted and so secured with a bolt. I mean, with two bolts, one at the top, one at the bottom. And there are no signs of it leaking. All right, I have my inner, my top, my outer tire. It is properly mounted and secured. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts. I have no less than two thirty seconds of tread depth. My tires are evenly worn. Uh, right here, I have my bud spacing. It's properly mounted and secure, uh, free of debris. 
Coming to the outside here, I have my inner and outer rim, which is properly mounted and secured, not crack damaged or broken, free of illegal welds. I have my lug, lug nuts. They are properly mounted and secured, not crack damaged or broken. There are no signs of looseness, such as shiny metal shavings or rust. I have my hub seal. It is properly mounted and secure. Uh, normally I can take it out and check it, but this one I'd have to unscrew. Oh, and I have my valve stem. It is properly mounted and secure, not crack damaged or broken. No sounds of audible hissing. Check this side the same way I check that side. 